In just moments, a new batch of Big Brother house guests will move into their new home and begin the most challenging game of their lives. But there's a giant twist. One house guest is playing a completely different game, and the rest may just get played. Underhanded, unscrupulous, and unexpected. It's time for another summer of Big Brother. It's a house like no other. Where 52 cameras follow your every move. And 95 microphones capture your every word. This is the Big Brother house. Tonight, 13 complete strangers will enter this house, most with one goal in mind, to be the last one standing. They will live in total confinement, cut off from the outside world. Every week, the house guests compete for food, luxuries, and most importantly, power. Each week, they will vote to evict one of their own until only one house guest remains to claim the half million dollar prize. Tonight, a new twist will rock the house and force everyone to play the game like never before. It's going to be the most challenging summer ever. And it all starts now on Big Brother. Good evening, I'm Julie Chen. Welcome to Big Brother. For the next 75 days, the Big Brother house guests will live and breathe the Big Brother game. Most with the hope of being the last person standing and winning the half million dollar grand prize. But for the first time ever, one house guest is not here to win. Meet the Big Brother saboteur. He or she is here to make the game harder than ever before. Their mission, sabotage the other house guests and wreak as much havoc as possible. And you, America, can play a role. I'll tell you how a little later on. But first, who is the saboteur? See if you can figure it out. Just days ago, the house guests were each surprised with the key to their new summer home. I got the keys! I'm in, I'm in, I'm in, I'm in! I'm in! Oh, I'm in. Oh. I'm a successful podiatrist. I'm a practicing modern Orthodox Jew, and if it affects my game plan, I don't care. I'm not going to compromise my Judaism. I've lived in this small town my whole life. Even though I'm from this little place, I have a big city game, and I'm ready to get out of here. Oh, did I say that loud? I'm the most competitive person you'll ever meet. And I'm not going to lie, the ladies love me. That's what's going to take me far in this game. Most people think I'm just a hot girl with big boobs. When actually, I'm a chemist. But I'm going to surprise everybody with how smart I am. And the boobs don't hurt either. Are you serious? Yay! <laughs> I can do like a real dance. Oh my god, I'm a little frazzled. I've been a deputy sheriff for eight years. And I've busted all kinds of bad guys and bad girls. And I'm going to bust everyone in the house. That's cute. That's cute. Yeah, yeah, that's really cute. I really hope the other house guests are up to my standards. I don't really want to be around anyone who's gross or just plain old nasty. I am a genius. I don't have the image of a genius, but I'm a member of Mensa. I'm going to be smarter than any other people in the house. They'll never see me coming. Oh my god. Uh, I'm going to throw up. Or die. Are you jacking with me? This is insane. Oh 500,000 dead presidents. Got my name on it. I know this game inside and out, and I will do whatever it takes to win. And being bisexual, I know what men and women want. I'm used to getting my hands dirty on the ranch, so I'm definitely ready to get my hands dirty in that house. I love Jersey, and I love meatballs, and my mama. If you weren't my mother, I'd marry you. My strategy is, none of your friggin' business. Oh my god! No way! Here I come! I'm ready! I'm ready! This is my key to the big brother house. I'm a swim coach. Yeah, I'm definitely used to dealing with all the high school drama, so it's prepared me perfectly for the big brother house. Big brother! 
I'm outgoing, I'm smart. So, I will work on his meds. I'm the life of everybody! <laughs> this is crazy! I have a PhD in communication studies. And my lesson plan includes lying, cheating, and backstabbing. I'm ready to take over the world. This is only step one. You have one hour to pack. Are you serious? Don't do that to yeah. me. Uh, I got one hour. <laughs> I better hustle in there. Literally one hour. We, we, get, we gotta go. Ah! Okay. Holy cow. How does a gay person pack in an hour? So you're taking my suitcase. It's distinguishable. Hey. Is this allowed? Got to put my pot in, because if I want to eat my own food, it's got to be kosher. I just want the people to respect me and my religion. I hate people that succumb to organized religion. I think they're kooks and I think they're easily manipulated. And I can easily manipulate them out of the house. I got my Italia hat. I got to represent. The type of people that are going to annoy me are young girls who are high maintenance. I would like to ideally have 90 swimsuits so I could wear a new swimsuit each day. I should totally bring my Las Vegas showgirl outfits and show them what a real Las Vegas girl is made of. Fake boobies. It's like eye candy. You know, you can look, but don't touch. Fake or not, what are you gonna do? Guys who are in your face, like, hey, baby, that's totally not me. So maturity level is really important. I think my maturity level definitely will give me an advantage. But if I have to, and I go up on the block, I'm gonna have to break out these. Use what the good Lord blessed me with. You need underwear. You need it. I am hoping there's gonna be hot girls in the house. However, I would flirt with a gay guy if it meant me staying in the house another week. I have a thing for big dumb guys. I would like to buddy up with someone that's smart, you know, just so, so I don't have to do all the thinking, and plus I'm not good at it anyways. They got the brawn, but I got the brain, and I can make them do what I want. What are you crying for? It should be a happy time. Love you. Love you. I'm good. Kiss your mom. <laughs> <laughs> I want you to go a couple more teeth when I get back, all right? You gotta talk a little bit more, all right? Oh, you're gonna get the biggest, most expensive dog bone of all time. Bye! Bye. Make some you. money! Yeah. Bye. <laughs> Big Brother House, here I come! So, do you think you know who the saboteur is? It's time to get an even closer look at the house guests. Let's bring them out. This is the first time that the house guests are all seeing one another. They're not allowed to speak to each other until they're all inside the house. Welcome, house guests. Hey, Julie. Take a good look around you. The person standing next to you could be your new best friend, or they might just stab you in the back. Inside the Big Brother house, anything can happen. The only thing that is certain is that you're about to embark on a grueling summer long power struggle. Once you walk through that door behind you, you won't come out until you've either been evicted or won the half million dollar grand prize. Is everyone ready? Yes! The first four to enter the Big Brother house are Brittany, Reagan, Brendan, and Rachel. Please enter the house now. Oh my god. Oh my god. Can you tell? Oh my god, this is amazing! Oh, yeah. This is so I like pretty, this I love this room! When I realized I was in the Big Brother house, I was just freaking out. I think the house is so much more fun and nicer than Vegas. Like, are you kidding me? I'm on Big Brother! Hey, hi, I'm Brittany. Rachel, Brittany, Brendan. I'm Rachel, nice to meet you. Hi, Brittany. Oh my god, you're This is a trip! Brother. When I saw Rachel and Brittany, the first thing that popped in my head was, damn, I bet you both these girls look way better than I do in a bathing suit. This is it. Oh, nice. So We're here. Amazing. So nice. I can't believe we get to live here. Oh, my God. The next group to enter is Lane, Annie, Enzo, Kathy, and Andrew. You may now enter the house. Screamed Mazel Tov right when I got into the Big Brother house because in the Big Brother house I need all the good luck I can get. Oh, oh my go. gosh! Screw the heels! Screw the heels! Go! Go! Oh, we let oh, you. Know. Oh, I think this is all of them. I think this is all of them, right? All of them. 
I don't want this one. Oh my god! What's going on, Enzo? Oh, Being in the Big Brother house is just crazy. It's just straight up bananas. It was definitely a lot nicer than my mom's house back home in Jersey, but I'm pretty sure the cooking is not going to be the same. Brittany, she is a beautiful girl. I'm kind of drawn to her. What did you end up? I'm right here. Okay, cool. I want to put her in my pocket and save her for later. And the final group to enter the Big Brother house is Monet, Hayden, Kristen, and Matt. Please enter the house now. When I was entering the house, I blew right past Kathy because I wanted to get my own bed. Let someone else sleep on the ground. Did you check in here? Oh, all three claimed. This might be out of luck. Nothing. We got nothing. You can't be successful in this game if you don't have your own bed, if you're not comfortable. I gotta find my own bed or, you know, bedding up with maybe one of the cute chicks. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out later. Yeah, we, we got, got time. We got all kinds of time, right? Who wants some champagne, you guys? Oh my gosh, what a day. Why don't we introduce ourselves to you? Yeah. Since y'all are on the hot seat, y'all have to go first. I'll go first. I don't mind. Uh, I'm Kristen, I'm from Philly. I'm a manager of a designer shoe store and I model a little. Kristen's hot. Every guy dreams about, you know, hooking up with a model. It's gonna take me a week or two, but I'm gonna work my magic. I'm Matt, I'm from a suburb outside of Chicago. I just got married last September. Congratulations. I do website design professionally, uh, recreationally. I've been a musician about half my life now. The thing I didn't tell them is that I am a certified genius. I have an IQ in the top 2% of the entire world's population, and uh, I don't want them knowing that I have that logical mind. Um, I'm Rachel, and I'm from Las Vegas. I'm like a southern girl at heart, but I've been living in Vegas for like three years. I worked at the craziest party pool last summer, and this summer too. <laughs> Rachel is Boopsy. It's just like two watermelons on her chest. I felt like Rachel was kind of just ditzy. Living in Vegas 24-7, I'm used to being really active and... <laughs> the bada bing, you know? She's got weapons. <laughs> that laugh might get old. You could definitely hear it three rooms over. <laughs> All right, my name is Monet. I'm from a small town in Illinois. I am a student, and I also have two cats. One is named Kitty, and one is named Furby. <laughs> uh, I'm Brendan, I'm from uh, Riverside, California. I'm a swim coach, I'm also a PE teacher. I love it. You should apply to be Superman. I, uh, <laughs> I just have a feeling that you could get that job. Well, he probably gets paid more than a PE teacher, I think. <laughs> I would love to form an alliance with Brendan. And if the big twist of Big Brother was that Brendan, wouldn't you know it, is gay and we end up falling in love. I'm Hayden, I'm 24 from Tempe, Arizona. I'm a college student, I go to Arizona State. Hayden's very cute, my type, uh, for sure. I, I would classify him more as cute and lovable, and that could turn into a sexy thing. Hey, I'm Andrew. I'm from Miami Beach, Florida. Oh, I took the wrong turn. I thought this was supposed to be a speed dating thing for Jewish singles. So I guess none of you are Jewish. <laughs> Someone that really stuck out to me was Andrew because he's Jewish, and so he wears a Yom Kippur. I believe that's what it's called. And I was like, oh, okay, so he's probably gonna be really religious in the house. I am a day trader. And unfortunately, we lost a job last year or so and now I am a shoe salesman retail for the past year. I didn't want to tell everyone that I was a doctor because I didn't want a target on my back thinking that I have a lot of money. I thought I'd put a little sorrow, pity in there. I wanted them to think that, you know, I'm in need of money. My name's Lane, I'm 24, and I live in Decatur, Texas, Yay. as you can tell. <laughs> <laughs> so, and I'm a salesman for an oil company. I'm Kathy. Um, I'm 40 years old. You look great, you look great. <laughs> I have a 22-year-old son. Oh my wow. God! Yes. What? And the best is I'm a deputy sheriff. I have to watch out about the sheriff in town. In Jersey, we don't really like the law so much. If she gets out of hand, we're probably gonna have to take care of business. Okay, I'm Brittany, I'm 22. I'm from a small town in Arkansas that most people in Arkansas haven't even heard of. And I'm recently engaged. Oh, yeah. nice. Congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations. I'm Enzo, I'm from beautiful Bayonne, New Jersey. Oh. That's it, Jersey's in the house. I'm an insurance appraiser slash part-time real estate agent. So I'm busy myself. I immediately fell in love with Enzo because of his accent. Yo, I'm Enzo. I'm from New Jersey. I'm in real estate. 
I am Reagan. I'm 34 years old, and I am a graduate student in communication. I lied about what I do for a living. I'm a professor of communication studies, but I didn't want to tell other people because I don't want there to be a bigger target on my back. You're in a relationship or not? No, I'm painfully single. The minute that Reagan opened his mouth, I knew that we would be best friends because he is obviously a flaming homosexual, and those are my people. We can talk about boys, shopping, Broadway shows, Sex in the City, the series, and the movies. It was just love at first sight. Uh, I'm Annie, I'm 27, and I'm a bartender. I'm from Chicago, and I do have a dog. He's a French bulldog, uh, and his name is Mr. Cubby Bears. Out to the Chicago Cubs and Bears. So that's it. I am bisexual, and I've chosen not to tell people in the house about that because I think it could potentially hurt my game. And there's tons of cute guys and tons of cute girls, and I'm really excited to meet them, but I'm here to win a game. <laughs> to our least <laughs> drama-filled day. <laughs> Coming up, how will the house guests react when we reveal that there's a saboteur among them? Plus, find out how you can get involved with this summer's twist. Stay tuned. Welcome back to Big Brother. Just moments ago, 13 men and women entered the Big Brother house to begin a summer long battle to win a half million dollars. What they don't know yet is that one house guest is playing the game with a completely different agenda. How will they react when they learn that one house guest's sole purpose is to sabotage the game? It's time to reveal this summer's twist to the group. House guests. I, just, I need everyone to gather in the living room. <laughs> Let's see what's going I, on. I keep Please. Here's Jalen. Oh, here. I'll see <laughs> All right. I counted. You're all here. Now. now, as everyone knows, the motto here is expect the unexpected. Here we go. And we wouldn't want to disappoint you. No, of course not. So I have a question for everyone. You all want to win this game, right? Yes. 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 Really? And have fun. All of you want to win? Yes. <laughs> Well, someone sitting among you is lying. One of you is actually not here to win the game. That's because in a Big Brother first, there is a saboteur in the house. Oh my God. Wow. There's some type of a rat in here. I hate rats. Anything that has to do with the rodent family, I don't like. Their mission is to sabotage your game and wreak as much no. havoc as possible. Oh okay. This person can sabotage an individual, a group, or all of you. Although he or she will be eligible to be head of household and win the power of veto, his or her goal is not to win the half million dollar grand prize. Instead, their objective is to make it to the halfway point. And if they complete their five week reign of treachery, they will collect $50,000. Oh However, if they are evicted before the five weeks are up, they'll walk out of the house with nothing. You are all now part of the most challenging Big Brother ever. I'll leave you with this message. House guests, I am the Big Brother saboteur. I advise each of you to watch your back. I can and will strike at any time. Any plans you had coming into this game have now been turned upside down. Ask yourself this, with the saboteur living in the house, can anyone be trusted? Well, there goes our drama-free night. I know. I know. I know. There is a bow, 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 saboteur. And they can sabotage an individual. They can sabotage the whole freaking house. I did not see that coming. <laughs> wow. Why would they do wow. that to us? This is messed up. Wait, seriously? It's like, don't sleep with your eyes closed. That is jacked up. Who volunteered for that? 
Knowing that the saboteur exists changes my strategy because there's this person that is gonna try to mess me up. How am I gonna trust to make an alliance or even have a showmance? Like you can't have a showmance with someone that could be the saboteur. And you know what else I don't think any of us should do? Like no accusing. That's so sweet. She got the first sweet. I do not want people to know who I am. I am feeling suspicious of anybody mocking the saboteur or maybe talking about it a little excessively because they're trying to throw you off the trail of who the saboteur really is. I'm not sure who it is, but... Uh... He's quiet down there. Lane, you're pretty quiet down there. Say something. This is not good. My paranoia level has just gone off the rocker. Cops are already paranoid anyway. <laughs> In this house, everyone's a suspect. And the new Miranda warning will be, anything you say or do will be misquoted and used against you. There's really nothing that we can do at this point. Coming up, how will the house guests react now that they know there is an enemy living among them? Plus, the season's first head of household competition. Who will become the most powerful person in the Big Brother house? And later, learn how you, America, can get involved in this summer's twist. Stay with us. Saboteur, huh? Are we going to talk about it? Saboteur. I never thought that I'd have to deal with that. Yeah. yeah. Right, no, it's a, you're right. You have to deal but with I, the outside and you're yeah, going to deal with it. Yeah, I'm like, I'm paranoid when I'm at work. You know, now I'm paranoid in the house. I mean, it's okay to have a little bit of paranoia. Yeah, you're a good person to have on our side, like an investigator. You know, you got the criminal mind. I mean, wonder if we're doing something as a team and they sabotage it and we're on swap. No. Oh, God. <laughs> Guests, Julie! Please oh gather in the living room. Come in! I am. I'm so nice. <gasps> it is time for your first head of household Yay! competition. The head of household, or HOH as it's known, is the <laughs> most powerful position inside the Big Brother house. Free from the threat of eviction, he or she must put two house guests on the chopping block. Now, I need you all to divide into two teams of six. And since there are 13 of you, one person must sit out and become the mascot. Do you want to be the mascot? I guess I see a volunteer. <laughs> when Andrew raised his hand up real quick, it was a little fishy to me. If nobody argues, I don't mind. Is Andrew the saboteur? That definitely arose a red flag. Andrew, you need to know something. The mascot is not eligible to be HOH. I'm okay with it if nobody wants to have a disagreement with me or whatever. Hey, it's on you. Why would anybody want to sit out of the HOH competition? I mean, the HOH is safe for the week. Everybody wants to be safe. House guests, I need one team on each couch and the mascot can sit in one of the blue chairs. Please make your decisions now. Yeah. Do I need to change shoes? House guests on the cream couch, you are the yellow team. House guests on the gray couch, you're the red team. Everyone, head into the storage room and get your gear on. I'll see you all in the backyard when everyone's ready. Oh, it is, okay. Oh my God, is that the mascot? Everyone's got these shorts, red and yellow, and I see a wiener costume in the back. Hope it's kosher. Oh my God, I'm gonna embarrass myself on the first night of the show. Oh my God, if they tell me I have to wear this for one week, I'm gonna hurt someone. I'll tell you that much. I got to see the evolution from Orthodox Jew to kosher wiener, which was a beautiful thing. Here comes the weenie. thing I saw was wieners and flames all over, and I saw a big thing of ketchup and mustard. I knew that I needed to get that HOH. I was going to do anything it took to win that competition. Okay, it's like we're on a grill. You guys, we have to hang. We have to hang and somebody's got to reel us. Shut up. Oh my god. We were literally in this big grill. We have these two huge wieners. We were like, what is Big Brother going to make us do? Because I definitely want to jump on those big wieners. <laughs> Hello, house guests. 
Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Andrew. Yes. How do you feel about your new outfit? <laughs> it's part of a job. <laughs> you wear it well, Andrew. Thank you very much, JC. Well, I have some good news for you. While you cannot become HOH this week, you will be safe from the first eviction. Oh! Yeah! Yeah, yeah, yeah! <laughs> so you get a point for being a good guy. Thank you. All right, <laughs> house guests, is everyone ready to begin? Yeah. Yes. Yes. yes! Well, it is summertime, and what better way to celebrate than to have a weenie roast? On my go, a member of each team will jump off the platform and grab onto the giant hot dog. Using pulleys, the rest of the team will pull that member across the yard to the finish line. You will continue to do this until all members have made it to the other side. Fall, and you must go back to the start. The first person on the winning team to land on the platform on the other side will receive $10,000. Second to land wins $1,000. Third, $100. Fourth, $10. Fifth, $1. The last house guest to cross the finish line on the winning team will be HOH. This game begins now. <laughs> Me out, guys. I say strongest I person goes first. first. I had no idea what the strategy was going to be or anything, but I was like, I love the $10,000. I want to just get across. And Kristen is down. The hot dog was a lot more slippery and hard to hold on than I thought. Go first. Who's going first? Who wants to go first? Go, 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 go. We're thinking about strategizing. Do you want HOH or do you want $10,000? And out of nowhere, Annie's like, boom, and is like on the hot dog. Annie is cruising across to the other side of the platform. Annie, grab that $10,000 prize. $10,000. Monet making her way across the platform, and Monet grabbed that $10,000 prize. Deep down inside, I'm like, $10,000, yeah. And then it dawned on me, oh crap, you know, when you win that kind of money, people are jealous, so it makes you a target. Big Brother blasted the wieners with ketchup and mustard. And the last thing I wanted to do was try to wrap myself around that ginormous wiener. Brittany's down. Kathy's down. Oh my gosh. Lane making his way across. And this game is tied right now. is so slippery. Enzo tried to jump on the hot dog. <laughs> Kathy tried to jump on the hot dog. We all slid right off. Oh Take your shirt off and let's pop it off. All right, all right. Yeah, sure. Sure. Okay. Yellow. Rachel took off her shirt to hold on to the wiener. I thought she'd just take it all off, take the bra off too. I think that would be a great strategic move. <laughs> I didn't want the HOH, but as we got into the competition, I realized none of the other competitors on my team were going to be able to get on the hot dog and get across without my help. What we're going to have to do is get two people and just kind of toss them. We realized if we could boost the girls up to the, so they could grab the strap, they could hang on and make it across. Yeah, Brendan, you got to go. You made it, Kristen. Grab that $100 prize. Yes. Come on, Kathy, you can do it. You got it. Come on up. You're halfway there, Kathy. No, please don't. Worry. <laughs> Leftovers, me, Brittany, and Matt. We actually had to throw Brittany in the bag. Every time she'd get a grip and slip right off. Woo. Here, here, let's do this. I'm gonna try to feed my t-shirt through the loop. So my goal was to feed my shirt through the hot dog and wrap it around so that our shorter girls could jump up and grab onto the shirt. Get it. Yay! Brenda, bring it back! Bring it back! Bring it back! Well, when I jumped up to grab onto it, 
they started wheeling it really fast. The t-shirt! This game is now tied. So now we only got one guy trying to get both the short girls to grab the top of the hot dog. Three more to go in each team. From that point on, I knew we were in big trouble. Listen, if you can climb up, try to even climb on our shoulders. Okay. You okay? You okay? Is it your knee or elbow? Oh, it's my leg. When Brittany fell, I felt really bad because I wanted to help her, but I had to hold back and I was inside. I said to myself, no, you're not a podiatrist here. They don't know you as a doctor. And that was something that was killing inside. Are you okay? Brittany just fell off the hot dog and is like seriously hurt. When Brittany fell, I did think that, you know, maybe she's the saboteur. She's faking that she's hurt. I, I, there was a lot of stuff going through my head. I didn't really know what to think. So they send a medic out and look at her knee. The whole game was stopped. Like everyone, we we stopped. That's it, that's right here. Uh -huh. I can jump and grab that. You sure? You good with that? Yeah, I can do that. I got you. That's fine, dude. That's so good, please. Like, that's pretty good. Yeah. Brittany getting hurt was undoubtedly the best thing that happened in that competition. It gave Hayden and I the chance to make it a deal that Hayden would ensure my safety if I let him go over last and win the HOH. Brittany, after consulting our medical expert, his recommendation is that you don't continue in this competition. <laughs> because you could injure yourself. Unless you have an objection to being taken out of the competition, then this is the plan. In order to not affect your team, you'll be switching places with a teammate who has already crossed to the other platform. The teammate you switch with will be picked by the yellow team in the interest of fairness. Do you understand? Yes, I felt like Everybody was looking at me as the weak link in the chain, if you will. I lost my dignity on a slippery wiener. Okay. Yellow team, you need to decide who will replace Brittany. Kristen. Kristen? Yeah, guys? All right, Kristen. The reason our team decided to go with Kristen is because she's shorter than Monet, and we thought that she would have a more difficult time getting back over to the other side. All right then, house guests. This competition resumes now. The game started up again. Uh, there was three players on each side. So it was anyone's shot at that point. It was a dead tie. Go, Kristen! You can do it! And Kristen sails across the yard. Before I could even blink my eyes, Kristen is on the other side again. And I don't know whose bright idea that was to replace Brittany for Kristen. That really sucked. Red team's in the lead by one. Bring it on. We knew we had to get Kathy across the grill because she just couldn't do it on her own. She was just too weak at that point. Wait, use your hands like this. Yeah. Matt sailing his way across the grill. Give me that dollar, baby. Get up, Do whatever you can. Come on, Aiden. I can't reach it. Aiden, see what I can't reach it. We're watching Kathy struggle to get up on it, and all she's doing is grabbing on it and slipping right off, and it happens two, three times. Well, in the back of my mind, I'm, I'm thinking that I sure hope Kathy's not the saboteur. I'm too high. You all right? I'm too high. And Hayden sailing across. Congratulations, Red Team. Congratulations, Hayden. You are the first HOH of the summer. And congratulations, Monet. You have won $10,000. I won the HOH week one. It's bittersweet. I got a big target on my back. Huge. Hopefully, I'm safe from the saboteur for at least this week. 
We'll see. That's my good. We tried, man. Let's go. When I realized that Hayden was going to be HOH, and my heart sunk. I mean, I lost $10,000. Which sucks. And when a team wins, and they don't typically nominate their own teammates for eviction that week, you automatically think that they're going to nominate somebody from Yellow. I think we all are freaking out that we're going to be on the block. <laughs> What's in store for the house guests now that Hayden is in power? And just who is the saboteur? Also, learn how you, America, can be a big part of this season's twist. Stay with us. Who do you think is the Big Brother saboteur? Think you have it figured out? Then tell us which house guest you think it is. Text the number of your selection to 81818. Text 1 for Andrew, 2 for Annie, Three for Brendan, four for Brittany, five for Enzo, six for Hayden, seven for Kathy, eight for Kristen, nine for Lane, ten for Matt, eleven for Monet, twelve for Rachel, or thirteen for Reagan. Cast your vote now and find out if you're right Thursday, July 15th at 8, 7 central. One dollar per text message vote. Maximum ten text message votes. For free online voting, go to cbs.com slash big brother. Votes will be accepted until 3.59 p.m. Eastern Time Thursday, July 15th. Welcome back to Big Brother. A saboteur is on the loose. And here's how you, America, can work with them to change the game. Send in your sabotage ideas and every episode, the saboteur will pick one to execute. Find out all the details at cbs.com. There, you'll see an assortment of items available to the saboteur that may inspire you. But tonight, the saboteur is on his or her own without your help. So, we've provided a little assistance to get things started. It's so much nicer than it was last season. Oh, yeah. Oh, are you kidding me? What's happening? This is scary. Can't see anything. No way, like this cannot be right. When the lights first went out on us, I really thought it was a technical difficulty because it was so dark. You couldn't see your hand right in front of your face. I see, I hear something, I think I seen something. It's definitely a little fishy when the lights went out. I knew it was definitely an act of sabotage. The saboteur was definitely striking at that point. You gotta get up a little bit early in the morning to, you know, to get one past the Jersey kid. When the lights go back on, someone's gonna be missing. So when the lights first went off, and I was making my way to the bedroom, I couldn't see at all. I really honestly just assumed that it was Big Brother telling us to get to bed. So I made my way to grab my toothbrush and toothpaste. It was pitch black. I couldn't see anything. Brendan, is it you? It's me. I just want to go get my toothbrush and toothpaste. I'm right back, I'm going to brush my teeth. Is everybody in here? Who are we missing? So when the lights went off, me as a prankster, you know, want to have a good time. So this was a time for me to pull some pranks on the uh, house guests, uh, you know, push their buttons. Oh my God. There's something oh, making on. noise over there. Where? I hear it, I hear it, I hear it. Ah! Oh, thank you. Andrew. Where's Andrew? Andrew? Oh, he's right there. Oh, your ass is the one that was over there scaring us. You were the one doing that. I thought I was sleeping. You were not. What? Oh my God. If you weren't so afraid of the dark, you may have caught me. Thanks for making this sabotage so easy. I've padlocked the storage room door where all of your food and supplies are kept. Oh, that's what the oh, what? oh my, oh my God. God. That's weird. Why would they lock us out of there? But don't worry. There's plenty of slop in the kitchen to go Ugh. around. Sleep with one eye open, house guests, assuming you can sleep at all. <laughs> they must have done that when it was dark. <laughs> oh, what? Oh, my God. I think it happened when it was pitch black. This is like we're living a murder mystery and they're killing our ability to eat. <laughs> The saboteur has struck. I have not eaten anything but a banana and like 
chocolate covered strawberries. This saboteur has got to go down. As soon as we find out who it is, they're out. This is when it gets real, because someone has to be in here that did it. We were sitting together. I was sitting and grabbing onto Hayden. I went and got my toothbrush and spent like 20 minutes trying to find the handle. You can't see two feet in front of your face. He's going to brush his teeth in the middle of the night. Suspicious. Who does that? Andrew, you were laying down here. Andrew was laying down there. I'm only getting more and more suspicious of Andrew. You know, after the lights come back on, he's laying on the ground. He's acting like he's sleeping. He could definitely be the saboteur. Someone in the house did it, right? Oh my God, day one and the first saboteur prank is starvation. You know, where does it go from here? What are we going to do? I mean, the possibilities are endless and I'm not looking forward to it. The saboteur has struck, and a summer of backstabbing and blindsides has only just begun. The excitement is just getting started in the Big Brother house. Who is the saboteur? And what shocking surprises will he or she have in store for the house guests? And who will Hayden nominate for eviction? Find out Sunday night at 8, 7 central. Then... Tune in Wednesday at 8, 7 central to see if the power of veto can save one of the nominees. And Thursday, 8, 7 central, don't miss the season's first live eviction, where the identity of the saboteur will be revealed to you, America. <laughs> to follow the house guests every move, log on to CBS.com and subscribe to the live 24-hour internet feed. You can also get an uncensored look at Life in the House on Big Brother After Dark, airing live each night from midnight to 3 a.m. on Showtime 2. From outside the Big Brother House, I'm Julie Chen. Good night. You know what? Yeah, I was sitting and grabbing right. on the hair. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, yeah. yeah. And you threw a pillow. <laughs> Andrew, you were on the floor. Someone else. to trigger this whole thing going off. Someone else watched back there. <laughs>